Welcome in everybody. We are in Baltimore. The Denver Broncos will be facing off against the Baltimore Ravens. The Broncos are 8-3 after losing to the Panthers and the Ravens are currently at 4-7 losing to the Jaguars. Let's see how both teams respond after losing in last week's matchup in MNT Bank Stadium. Broncos country, let's ride. Into the first quarter, Lamizi Jackson. Play action, looks right, throws, and tipped. And it gets picked off by Kareem Jackson for a touchback. Broncos get the ball. Then the Ravens get the ball back, take it down to the goal line. And Lamar Jackson keeps it, but the ball pops loose. And Singleton picks up the one, gets stopped on about the three yard line. Then the Broncos take it downfield. Russell, Mr. Unlimited, yeets it and hits Corlin Sutton for the touchdown. What a code throw and catch there. Later on, Ravens get the ball. Lamar Jackson pulls it on the keep on the zone read, and he scores a touchdown tied at seven. Then Mr. Unlimited gets the ball, throws, and it gets picked off in the flat by Kyle Hamilton, the rookie from Notre Dame. Then Lamar Jackson on the zone read, keeps the ball, runs up the field, up to the 10, into the red zone at about the two yard line, and that'll set up a touchdown. Ravens up 14-7, then Russell Wilson hits Cortland Sutton for the second time, two touchdowns for the two. Then the Broncos the ball, Mr. Unlimited unable to throw the ball, and he drops it loose, and the Ravens score 21-14, then Mr. Unlimited throws left, and he, I don't know who he threw that to, but what the fuck, anyways, Picked off by the Ravens, and they'll take it to Broncos territory. Then Lamise Jackson takes the snap on the zone re-keep again. And he's got a lot of real estate. Look at that sexy son of a bitch. Then Justin Tucker kicks it through the field goal. 31 to 14. Ravens. Then Russell Wilson gets picked off once again. Ravens. Third interception of the day. And that'll do it. Broncos go down against the Ravens, 31 to 14. Holy shit, will Nathaniel Hackett get fired in real life and in the game? We will see how things go in the following week if the Broncos can snap out of their stupid shit.